Hi again then guys and welcome to another Forza Motorsport 7 speed build again for another Lamar prototype. This one is incidentally on my storefront as well. You can use the keywords down in the description to find that if you would rather do that. Or, of course, if you'd like to fit the parts yourself or homologate it differently, then of course this video is for you. Now, we're not going to run into the upgrade side of things, because of course that's pretty obvious. Widen the tyres if possible, upgrade your restrictor plate if you want to, as I said. With regard to homologation, it depends on what kind of race you're entering, whether or not you can have maximum power, all that kind of good stuff. As far as performance, well, as you can see, it's pretty rapid, that's for sure. This has always been one of the fastest prototypes in the Forza games, it's up there with the Porsche 962. Now, as far as the gearbox, I'd recommend a final drive of 2.75, then individual gears, of which you've only got 5 to be working with, but 2.6 for first, then 1.93, 1.49, 1.16 and 0.84, at least that's what I'd recommend. As far as alignment, I do have one degree of camber front and rear. You don't have to have that though. If you want better grip in a straight line, you could go just fully down to zero or default in other words. I've gone for neutral toe, uh, 4 degrees of caster, anti-roll I've rounded off to 17 and 12, the springs we've got stock as far as the stiffness goes, and the lowest ride height. Now of course, as with all prototypes, you can improve the top speed by raising the front ride height, but I wouldn't really recommend that unless you're just going to use it on a drag strip, because it really adversely affects the handling. So. It depends what you want. As far as dampers, we've got those on 7 and 5 respectively. Aero, of course you want set as low as possible front and rear to get the highest top speed, but again, it will depend what track you plan to use it for. Now, I get people asking quite often on my speed tunes, are these just for straight line performance or do they have some circuit use as well? The answer is yes, they do because I use all of these as my circuit tunes. So all you need to do to have it around a track is put the downforce higher. It really is as simple as that. I like my tunes to be as multi-purpose as physically possible. So that's the answer to that. Now, with that being said, my driving style won't be the same as everyone else's. So I can't guarantee the results you'll have, but for me, it works just fine. As far as the, uh, not alignment, the diff, I should say, we've got 75% on acceleration, 25 on decel, at least that's what I've gone for, and that's about it for the tuning side of things. So there's tons of room for variation, personal preference, and of course, power level. So all that remains, obviously, is to take it out on a high speed circuit to see if it can hit that quoted speed. Now, for those who perhaps will be wondering about this tune, it's not just a straight line machine in terms of high speed either. You can of course use it to great effect here at the Le Mans, although it does take a bit longer to get up to that speed of around 260 than the Porsche does. For sheer acceleration as well, the 962 is a better car, but of course for handling it's not quite as good. However, I recently used this exact car with this exact tune, even with the lowest downforce around the Indy Oval, on I think it was a 20 minute endurance race against unbeatable AI, unbeatable of course being a very relative term, and it annihilated them easily, a one by thousands upon thousands of feet without any difficulty at all. Now of course the handling isn't perfect on that track because you've got a little bit of understeer there, but overall the car is overwhelmingly quick compared to most prototypes, especially top end, because most of them tend to get to around 200, 220 quite quickly, but then they peter out about there whereas the Sorba and the Porsche in particular just go way beyond that. Overall then, if you do decide to use this tune or any of my other tunes on the storefront or here on YouTube, I hope you have a lot of fun with them and win races with them as well. So if you'd like to see more tunes like this, you can click through at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.